book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah 53, verse 1. I'm reading from the NLT version. It says, Who has believed our message? To whom has the Lord Yahweh revealed his powerful arm? My servant grew up in the Lord's presence like a tender green shoot, like a root in dry ground. There was nothing beautiful or majestic about his appearance, nothing to attract us to him. He was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, acquainted with deepest grief. We turned our backs on him and looked the other way. He was despised and we did not care. Yet, it was our weaknesses he carried. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from the Most High, a punishment for his own sins. But he was pierced for our rebellion crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. All of us, like sheep, have strayed away. We have left the Most High's path to follow our own. Yet the Lord, Yahweh, laid on him the sins of us all. He was oppressed and treated harshly, yet he never said a word. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep, is silent before the shearers, he did not open his mouth. Unjustly condemned, he was led away. No one cared that he died without descendants, that his life was cut short in midstream, that he was struck down for the rebellion of my people. He had done no wrong and had never deceived anyone, but he was buried like a criminal. He was put in a rich man's grave, but it was the Lord Yahweh's good plan to crush him and cause him grief. Yet when His life is made an offering for sin. He will have many descendants. All praises, honor, glory to our power, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh He will enjoy a long life, everlasting kingdom. And the Lord's good plan will prosper in his hands. All praises, honor, glory to the king. When he sees all that is accomplished by his anguish, He will be satisfied. And because of his experience, my righteous servant will make it possible for many to be counted righteous. For he will bear all their sins. I will give him the honors of a victorious soldier because he exposed himself to death. He was counted among the rebels, the rebels, sorry. He bore the sins of many and interceded for rebels. All praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. His name is Yahweh, our heavenly father. 
and his only begotten son. The focus is about the son, our king, whom the Lord Yahweh have given all judgment unto. That's why it says to you in the book of who? I built the, the book of Psalm chapter 2 verse 12. It says, kiss the son. Eh? Meaning worship the son. I may be angry because there are people that still don't want to worship the king Yahweh Shai. But I'm here to tell you that without the king, you have no chance of getting into the everlasting kingdom. The king put his life on the line for us. And that is why, for me, I'm able to teach this word. That's why you are able to hear these words. That's why we have a second chance. Because we know that when the Lord gave us the statutes, the commandments, we couldn't keep it. We went off. All the sacrifice, all the pressure, the lambs that we sacrificed. Every time we go off, we kill a goat, the lambs, eh, for our sins. But it wasn't enough. He gave up his only begotten son. Now, that's the true love. And yes, now he is sitting in the right hand of our power, Yahweh. Waiting for the go-ahead to come and take us home. It's all about Yahweh Shai family. It's all about the king. You better believe it. It's all about the king. That's right. The book of Daniel. Let's go to Daniel chapter 7. Let's go to Daniel chapter 7. Uh, family, if I didn't say, please forgive me. Shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel, the so-called Latinos, the so-called blacks, Native American. Caribbean, Native Indians, family, these are all our corporate names, okay? You are not black, eh? You are not void of light. You are, as a matter of fact, you are the light. Because guess what? The king is in us. The king, Yahweh Shah, he is the light. And his light is dwelling in us. We are the light of the world, family. We are the salt of this earth. We are the apple of the Lord's eyes, family. Don't believe what Esau tells you. Esau is the so-called white man family. He's trying to hide himself. That's why he gave himself the name white. You know? Gave himself the name white. But here we are. I'm just trying to bring up a precept family. Please bear with me. The computer is a little slow this morning. I don't know why. Um, let's go to... Uh, let's come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What is going on here? Okay, let's see. The website is not coming up. Please bear with me. Please, please, please bear with me. It's not coming up yet. We have a backup. The book of Daniel. Daniel 7. Daniel 7. Daniel 7. Verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. The clouds represent, they are the chariot of Israel, the so called UFOs. That's right. That's how the Lord travels. Hmm? I saw in the night visions. And behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days. Who is the Ancient of Days? Yahweh. He has no beginning and he has no ending. That's Yahweh, his father. Okay? He says here, Daniel 7, verse 13. I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days. And they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion. Mm -hmm. Dominion, rulership, sovereignty, family. 
and glory and a kingdom. You hear that? And a kingdom. That is why we worship the king. Because he's the one. The father says he judges nobody. Yahweh Shah is the one that's about to judge this planet. He's the one that's about to rule this planet. That's why we worship the king. That's right. He took upon our sins, family. He died for you and I. The king did that for us. And now, because of what he has done, family, his father, Yahweh, have given him everything. It says here, and there was given him dominion and glory and the kingdom that all people, you hear that? All people, nations, and language should serve him. Meaning what? Worship him. To serve him. So anybody out there saying you don't need your Hawa Shai, disrespecting the king, I get news for you. You don't have you you don't have a, you don't have any chance of making it into the kingdom. Without Yahweh Shai, you have no access. Your king, Yahweh, his father told us that honor my son. That's a direct order. <clears throat> we honor the king, his only begotten son. Family says here, and there was given Daniel 7 14, and there was given him dominion and glory and the kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. You hear that? That's the everlasting kingdom. That is the everlasting kingdom that was made possible because of who? The only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Family, let's go to the book of John. Hear what John have to say. Family, this is, these are actually, no, these are the words of our king. Let me see if I can bring this up again. Please bear with me. Um, blue letter. Okay, the Bible doesn't want to come up. Let's go to the book of um, the book of John, chapter five. Let's pick it up from verse twenty-two. It says here. For the Father. John 5, 22. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. You hear that, family? All judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son... Honoreth not the Father which have sent him. You hear that? If you don't reverence Yahweh Shai, don't even bother calling in the name of Yahweh. We go through Yahweh Shai to get to Yahweh. He said, verse 23, John 5 23 says that all men should honor the Son, Yahweh Shai. Even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which have sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you. This is what Yahweh Shai is speaking. Anytime you see verily, verily, that's Yahweh Shai speaking. Verily, verily, I say unto you. He that heareth my word and believe on him that sent me have everlasting life. Are you listening to this family? Your new bodies, 
everlasting, eternal life. Amen. And it shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Your sins will be blotted out. Hmm? We honor the Son. We honor the Son. And He made it clear unto us. Family, Matthew, let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 10. Family, this is going to be quick. Matthew chapter 10, hmm? verse 32. It says here, Whosoever, this is Yahweh Shai, listen to the king. This is coming from the mouth of the king who is coming to live among us. Family, this don't take this thing lightly. Yahweh Shai, he is this whole thing that the Lord made, he gave him everything. Hmm? Yahweh Shai created the heaven and the earth. First book of John tells you that. Not the first book of John. Sorry, John chapter 1. That's right. And he is, can you imagine? You look around you. Look at the ocean. Look at all the creatures inside the ocean. Look at the forest. Look at the trees. Look at the sand. The stones. The air. Family, feel the air. The breeze. Family, the rivers, the creek, all different type of uh, of birds, man. The Creator of that is coming to live among us. The only begotten Son is coming to take down Esau's kingdom, and He is going to change your body. He is the one that's going to change your body. He says, he is, he says in the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 20 and 21. He says, he is going to change your vile body because your body is disgusting. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom. He is going to fashion it onto his glorious body. That is why we honor the son, Yahweh Shai. He took on our pain. Yes. He was beaten. He was tortured. He was slapped. He was spat on. And he didn't open his mouth. And still, there are people among us that don't believe. And that, <laughs> but they're going to they, they're gonna find out through death. Yes, because the king... He knows who his sheep are. He says, my sheep, they hear my voice. Oh yeah, the sheep, they will hear this message. And guess what? They will follow their shepherd. You better believe it. That's the ultimate shepherd is Yahweh Shai. He's the only shepherd that we have family. All the nations and whatever they worship, whether they worship Buddha, Allah, all the nonsense that family is nothing but idol. We have the true power. You better believe in Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. He says here, the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men. You hear that? This is Yahweh, Shai. Him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. The fact that I am this hour in the mighty and holy name of my King, Yahweh, confessing his name. Eh? Family, he is confessing my name before his father. That's what I believe, and that is faith. That's the king. And I pray that when he shows up, he will have mercy on my soul and your soul. That family reunion, we don't want to miss it. We don't want to miss it. We don't want to be born as newborn babies into the kingdom family. It would be nice, but our hope is to be beamed up into those chariots. The first fruit in the kingdom, the first spirit family, the first fruit of the kingdom ruling with our King Yahweh Shai. It says here, whosoever, the book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 32, 
Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. Verse 33, But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. You hear that? This is plain and simple. You ignore Yahweh Shai, you're going to die. Yeah, you're going to die a grievous death. Hmm? You believe in Yahweh Shai, doing your best that you can. It's simple. You're going to receive eternal life. This is not rocket science, family. It's very simple. You're seeing everything that's happening around us today. The nation preparing for war. The kingdom is falling right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. The kingdom is falling apart in front of your eyes. You're seeing it. The nations are preparing for war. There is a civil war about to start in. There's actually a coup going on in uh, Sudan right now. There's war, rumors of war. Yahweh I told us that these are all what? Signs. That's right. That he's coming. He gave us. He didn't tell us what day he's coming because, because nobody knows. It's not only not even the angels. Yahweh Shai himself doesn't even know. He says only his father, Yahweh, knows the time. So when the father taps it in the shoulder, he says, Son, okay, it's go time. That's when you're going to see power. You're going to see glory because all eyes shall see him. That time is fast approaching because why? It's going to happen in the midst of third world war because he's going to show up. And these nations are preparing for that exact moment, the third world war. And that's the time that we are living in. We are living in the last days, family. He said, but whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. Family, Yahweh Shai has been given all judgment. Eh? He has been given dominion. Eh? He has been given, family, all power, glory. That's why we worship him. Because family, you want to be in the good grace of Yahweh Shai. Your new body that you're about to receive is coming from Yahweh Shai. He's the one who's going to change us. He's going to be family. We owe everything to the king for the sacrifice that he made for us. Mm -hmm. Let's not take it for granted. Eternal life comes through him. John 17, 2. Everything has been given to the king. His government, the government is going to be upon his shoulder, pursuing to what? Pursuing to Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. It's going to be among us, family. Let me bring it up. Let me bring it and read it. Let's go to the book of Isaiah quickly. The book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9. Let's go to verse 6. Listen to this. It says here. Isaiah 9 verse 6. It says, For unto us a child is born unto us. A son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. The kingdom of heaven, the rulership, everything is been given to him. Honor the king, family. Honor the king. Honor the king. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. 
and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father. Everlasting Father. Everlasting Father. He's going to be living among us. Think about that for a second, family. You know what you are involving? Yahweh Shai is going to be among us. The everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. Again, I think I've said it many times over, over through the Spirit. That this nation, this world here, there will never ever be peace on this planet. Until the king is sitting on his throne. That's why he's known as the Prince of Peace. He's the one bringing the peace. Because in his kingdom, these nations will never learn war anymore. That's right. They will never learn war anymore. And that's what we are looking forward to. Family, we are pilgrims passing through this place. This is not our rest. We were put on this planet here to bring this word out. That's why we didn't know. Before we thought we were here to establish businesses, buy land and build homes and all that. No, no, no. The kingdom to come. The everlasting kingdom. That's when we're going to live. Because we're going to have the eternal body. The everlasting body. That's right. A body that will never die. Never sick. No pain. Never getting tired. It's just going to be pure energy. You're never getting tired. Isaiah 40 verse 31 says what? You shall mount up with wings like eagle, right? That's right. We are never getting tired. You are never dying. No more sickness, no more sadness. That's the kingdom we are looking forward to. The everlasting kingdom. We pray that we are among the numbers. That's why it says in the book of Hebrew 13, 14, it says what? For here we have no continuous city, but we do what? But we seek one to come. But Esau will tell you that go to university, get your degree, and take that loan, take this loan, take that loan, build an empire. Yes. Buy that car, buy that boat, buy the second house. You working every day and then you give them 40 50 years and then you retire and then we catch cancer and then you die that's not life that's not life but we thank the lord yahweh bahashem yahweh for giving us the gospel of the kingdom because at one point that's what we we're chasing everything we want to buy this we want to buy that we want to buy this and we want to do this we want to do it. family no that's why he says this is the rest. This is the rest that we needed. He said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. He wasn't lying. The king was not lying. But we are extremely grateful for everything that he has done for us. The fact that his father draw us to him and he promised that he's going to raise us up in the last days. Family, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, it says here, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Are you listening to this family? The elect of Israel. Are you listening to this? Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts 
will perform this. Are you listening to this? Judgment will be given unto him. And he promised that what? He is going, let's bring out Revelation chapter 2 verse 26. Let's precept that. Revelation 2 26. It says here, listen to this. Verse 25. Revelation chapter 2. Let's pick it up from verse 25. It says, But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. What is that? This word that you are listening, you are hearing right now. This word that we are preaching. The Lord is saying that hold on to it fast. Don't believe, uh, don't believe anything Esau is telling you. The Lord is to, reminding you that his kingdom is next. So if Esau comes up and say to you, oh, in order for you to continue living, paying your rent and do this and do that, you have to take my magic stick under your skin. You tell Esau to take it and shove it where the sun don't shine in the nice way. Mm -hmm. Because here the Lord is telling you to do what? He says, but that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. He's coming. He says, and he that overcometh, Eh? We know we're going to go through Jacob's trouble, but the Lord is with us. The Lord is with us. The angels are all around us. They are guiding us on. They are, they are, they are cheering us on. There's family. That's right. The Lord said, Yahweh Shai said, I'm going to be with you to the end of time. You might not physically see him, but his presence are everywhere. You better believe it. The angels are here. You cannot see them, but they are all around us. It says here, Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him, listen to this, to him will I give power over the nation. Are you listening to this? The father just told you that he has given him power. He has given him judgment. He's going to, the one's going to judge the, the world. But you think we're going to allow the king to do that? No. We pray that we are among the judges that are going to do his dirty work for him. Oh yeah, we are praying. That's what we're looking forward to. Serving the king in the kingdom. Because he's coming to relax. That's right. Establish his kingdom. And we're going to see to it. Lord willing, we are among the numbers. That's what we are looking forward to. He says, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation. But listen to verse 27. And he shall rule them. You hear that? You will rule them. And he shall rule them with rod of iron. Hmm? As the vessels of a potter, shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father. You hear that? So he has received judgment from his father. The father has given him all dominion. And he said the same power that the Lord, his father has given him, he's going to pass it on unto his people, his elect. That is what is coming. So whatever Esau is doing right now, family, you laugh at him. Esau is just a clown right now. He's doing the will of the Lord. His kingdom is finished. Israel's kingdom is finished. Yahweh Shai's kingdom is coming next. And we thank the Lord for it. And he shall rule them. Let me repeat verse, verse, verse 27. Revelation chapter 2, verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a porter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father. There are a lot of goodies coming. There are a lot of family. We, can, we will not be able to contain it. We will not be able to contain what Yahweh Shai is about to do for us. The glory that is coming from the king through his father. Yes. Our access to the father is through Yahweh Shai. You better believe it. Without the sacrifice that he made for us, family, we would have been through like people. We would have been done. That is why we honor the king. 
the king of Israel. He is coming. And we are doing our best to be in his good grace, family. Our best day in and day out. Repenting daily. Walking circumspectly. Measuring the time. Because we don't want to miss this reunion. We don't want to miss this reunion. It says in the book of Psalm chapter 2. It says, they that don't want to serve me. I, I think he said it. He said, bring them hither so I can slay them. Let me see if I can find it. Um, it says, they that don't want to serve me, bring them hither so I can slay them. Let's go to the book of Luke 19. Can you imagine somebody say, I don't want to serve the king. Did you hear what the Yahweh I said? Luke 19, 27. It says here. But those mine enemies. Hmm? Hear what the king says. But those mine enemies which would not that I should reign over them. Bring them a heaven. And slay them before me. That's right. The wicked, the two thirds of our people. Those who don't want to take, take in this beautiful gospel. Still out there worshiping Buddha, calling in the name of Allah, or doing all type of debauchery out there. Yes, family, they're going to find out the hard way. Yes, they're going to find out the hard way, including our family members. Oh, yes. That's why I say, family, this truth here, man, if the Lord has blessed you with the understanding of this gospel, this beautiful song that we are singing in the last days, you count yourself blessed, beyond blessed. Because your family members, your friends, fam family, they are still buried eh? in plantation Christianity, waiting for some blonde eye, sorry, blonde hair, blue eye, pale skin, sweet Jesus, sweet baby Jesus to come and deliver them. Eh? No, family, we have the light. We have the light. We have the bread of life. Eh? This fountain family is overflowing. We can't contain it. And that's what this truth does for you. And it's all from the mercies of our King, Yahweh Shai. He said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Family, right now, we are rejoicing every day for having this truth here. All praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It says, kiss the sun. Let's finish with that. Hmm? Kiss the sun, meaning worship the sun, family, the king. The Yahweh himself tell you, honor his son. Because if you don't honor his son, don't even bother calling in his name. It says, honor his son. We go to Yahweh through Yahweh Shai. Let's go to the book of Psalm. Eh? Let's go to the book of Psalm. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's, let's hear David. When the, let's hear what David said about Yahweh Shai. Let's go to the book of Psalm. Psalm, um, is it Psalm 110 or Psalm 101? I think Psalm 110. Is it Psalm 110? Uh, let's go to Psalm 1. Psalm 110. It says here, look at what King David said. Our beloved king. He, said, he prophesied about Yahweh Shai. He says here, a Psalm of David. The Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord. You hear that? This is David in the spirit. He was prophesying about Yahweh Shai. He says, The Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord, who is David's Lord? David is Yahweh Shai. Hmm? He says here, Said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy first toe. You hear that? All his enemies, all these nations about to become. Yahweh Shai's footstool. You hear that, family? It's about to reign over them. That's what that means. That's why it says again in the book of Psalm, Psalm chapter 2, verse 8, it says what? Ask of me. Psalm chapter 2, verse 8 says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. All these nations are going into slavery. Eh? 
they are going to serve the king and his kingdom. Every single one of them. Eh? Let's go to family. Let's go to the book of uh, Jeremiah. Let's finish with Jeremiah. Every single one of these nations are going into captivity. Jeremiah 31, 16. Let's bring it out quickly. Mm -hmm. And we're going fin- to wrap it up with his family. We're going to r- wrap it up. It says here, Jeremiah 31, verse 16. That's Jeremiah, Jeremiah 30, 30, 16. It says here, listen to this. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Who devoured us? All these nations. You want to know who all our enemies are? Read the book of Psalm 83. It lists all of them and they're all here. No nation is done away with. All the nations, family, they are all going into slavery. They're going to serve the Israelites. That's right. He says here, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. You hear that? The Hawashai is going to have all of them. All these nations are about to be subject to what? Yahawashai, be subjected to Yahawashai family. They're going to build the kingdom for us. But we thank the king. This is about the king. We honor the king. We reverence the king. Day in and day at the moment, he opened our eyes in the morning. We said, Tawada, Yahawah Bahashem, Yahawashai. Tawada simply means thank you in the Hebrew, paleo tongue. Tawada, Tawada, Tawada. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Family, I will leave it there, man. I hope you were edified. Family, all praises, honor, and glory to the power of eyes for our, um, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh. It's his name. And his only begotten son, our king. Our king, the deliverer, the redeemer. The root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Prince of Peace. He's the one bringing peace. This nation, they will never know peace. After the Third World War, in the midst of that Third World War, our King, pursuing to the book of, uh, what is it called, uh, Revelation 12, 6, I believe, and Second Ezra chapter 13. You better believe it. The King is coming. It's coming to take down all this kingdom. Right now, we are praying. Family, let's continue to pray and fast that the Lord will cut the time short and start this third world war and take us home, family. That's what we are waiting for. That's what we are looking forward to. But again, honor, glory to our king, Yahweh Shai, for this amazing gift, for the sacrifice that he made for us. So yes, family, all judgment has been given to the king. Let's continue to worship the king, continue to lift up thy name, Yahweh Shai, that's right. Yahweh Shai simply means he is the deliverer. Okay, he is the deliverer. He's the one coming for us. All eyes shall see him. That's right. It says in the book of Revelation, chapter one, mm-hmm. verse seven. All eyes shall see him, including those that pierce him. Goes back to reincarnation, family. Those same devils are back here, and this time. The king is not coming on a colt. No, no, he's not coming on an uh, on a donkey. No, 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 no. He's coming with chariot. He told Esau already that you're not going to meet me as a man. No, this time he's coming for blood. He's coming to pass over his elect, and then he's coming to slay. He's coming to conquer. He's coming to kill. Oh yeah, I said the slain of the Lord is going to be many. Yes, it's, that's why it says in the book of Ezekiel, where it says they're going to be, they're going to have continual employment for seven, for years, because they're going to all this your elite, that's right, your rough child, all this so called, they're going to be hiding in their bunkers when the king shows up. But guess what? They're going to be the first crop of slaves, family, and they're going to be going around the world burying bodies. That is what is coming. That is what is coming. So I will leave it there. All praises, honor, glory to the King of Israel, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokakodai, Shalom to the whole fully late.